Hi, in this setup tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a very simple version of dance mat game. It's going to match to your um, dance mat so that you connect with the makey makey. And there's going to be a very basic version, but of course you can add any extensive features that you want, but I'm going to show you how you can make it work. So this is my game. If I'm going to start, you can see if I press different arrows, if I hit this correctly, and the arrows on the bottom will change the color. However, if I miss anything, also it will show me the misses here. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to go to Scratch, click Create. And what I'm going to do, get rid of the cat, I'm going to start with Backdrop. So I click on Backdrop. And I'm going to backdrop here. If you hover over your crystal here, you can choose a backdrop, which just go to the library. Um, you can choose anything you want. I'm going to choose uh, a stage, let's say maybe a heart. This is what I'm going to have. And for this backstage, of course, you also need to upload to the sound, uh, which is music you want it. You can download any music you want. I am going to hover over my cursor here and go to upload sound. So now this is my music here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to click play the sound until down. And here, and also I'm going to go to broadcast a message and this new message is gonna call it end game and here of course I have green flag and I'm going to get another green flag because I want to drag a forever and when the music starts I want my um, color could change or anything there are several different things what I can do I can even do um, I can do pixelate I don't know we can give it a try and maybe it could be 10 and if you do the pixelate because eventually you're gonna be pixelate you have to reverse it back so I am going to do 10 repeated 10 times and also negative 10. And here, of course, I will put 0 0.5, another 0 0.5. So this is how the background is gonna be. Did you see? And eventually we'll just drop back. The other way, if you want it, you can, of course, change um, mosaic that might be working. I have no idea, but this is might be something you wanted, and you do time times, and you come back later. This is how it looks like. It's kind of cool. It's kind of just adding the extra vibe of the game that you wanted. And here, of course, because when you click that, and it will just start to play the music. Let's see if that works. Eventually, when the music finish, and it will broadcast a message end game, and this end game is kind of like a communicator among your different characters. That's how it's gonna work. And now I'm going to add my dance character. So you hover over your cursor to the top, sorry, to the bottom right corner, and you click here. You can find different. I'm gonna go to choose maybe people, um, maybe animals. I want an animal for the dance. So. Let's see which one is good. Maybe I will ask uh, my dinosaur just dance. Put my dinosaur in the middle of this. And then I go to looks. I switch um, costume. Here I'm going to click on dinosaur for, I just rename it called dinosaur dancer. And I'm going to costume. Now I see in my dinosaur dancer I have four different costumes so I can do what I can do is like I can switch to next costume and we can always start with the first one and you can switch here I'm going to do a little bit trick I'm gonna wait pick random gonna be 0 0.3 to 1 and green flag 
of course gonna be forever so when this start my dinosaur will be kind of like it just um, automatically go to the costume A I'm gonna just lower the volume and later on it will just like change the costume randomly like that and this is the first tutorial about how you can set it up in next tutorial we're going to talk about arrows